What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Star Citizen video. Today I wanted to do something a little differently. Um, mainly because I saw a video from another creator. I don't remember the creator's name. But they talked about, or at least I saw from the thumbnail, um, three things to improve the Super Hornet. And it really got me thinking because um, the ship I want to talk about is my favorite fighter regardless. I, even, I still choose it over the F8 now. And um, it definitely, definitely needs... Some improvements and i wanted to talk about the age of saber the age of saber as if you're familiar with the channel is my favorite fighter in the game it's one of my favorite ships in the game just because of how sleek it looks and it is it has some of the most balanced to flight uh like the most balanced flight in the game to be honest with you i mean in space yeah it does a little it does kind of struggle with more nimbler fighters and stuff like that just because other things have more acceleration and stuff like that uh, but in atmosphere, it is a dream to fight in. And I wanted to talk about a few things that they can improve with the Sabre. So when the Sabre first came out, it had three size one shield generators. And they took it away. I guess it was dominating. I wasn't there when it happened or when the Sabre first came out. But I guess it was dominating. It was really strong. Blah, 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 blah. Right? Um, that brings up my first point of what to improve on on the Sabre to make it a little bit more viable. Because personally, I think there should be... I don't think both Sabre variants we have should be quote-unquote considered stealth fighters. I think the Sabre, at least one of the Sabres, whether it's the Sabre Comet or the Sabre uh, Standard Sabre, should be a just a standard medium fighter, which one... And another one has a more focus on stealth. That's my personal opinion. But the Sabre is made to be a stealth fighter. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. But it still needs to fight. It still needs to be able to hold its own. And I honestly think not giving the first or the third shield generator back. But it definitely needs some more health. So I'm thinking maybe buff up the hull HP a little bit. Keep, let it keep the size one shields, but buff up the uh, the hull HP. The total hull HP on the Sabre is only 12,540. And then when you look at the Hornet, the Hornet is 22,380. So the Hornet's a lot chunkier than the Sabre for a fighter in the same class. Also, the Hornet is able to hold so many more guns in the saber saber's got four size threes yeah the sizes on the hornet are lower but there is more and to be honest with you if we're looking at first eps the hornet's got more especially if you have like you got your three size threes and two size twos on it you get a little uh, for first dps you got 300 more dps you get 2000 with the saber 2300 with the hornet but 300 more dps is significant and then when you're just when you're a lot weaker than the saber or than the hornet you got 10,000 less all hp you're gonna you're gonna struggle so maybe giving it a little bit of buff maybe uh boost that uh that hull hp to maybe 18 18k 20k not all the way up to the hornet but close closer to it another thing and i'm not saying before i continue um i'm not saying do all of these you know it just it needs a little bit it doesn't need everything i'm about to talk about because that will make if we if it improved on everything i'm talking about it will make the ship a little bit overpowered and we got to talk about balancing so but another thing i wanted to, to say to improve it you know that little that little acceleration bug that the hornet has right now where it's where it can pull a uh, 28g tricord and an acceleration yeah give that to the saber a saber definitely struggles in acceleration top speed is fine atmospheric top speed is fine it's just getting to the top speed is where it struggles so if we give it a little bit boost of acceleration closer to where the hornet is 
have definitely, definitely, definitely become more viable, especially with the, the missile payload that it has and the DPS that it has, because it doesn't have bad DPS. Um, if you're actually able to catch, like if you're fighting a Hornet, right? And you get the Hornet shield down, he blows by you and you try to whip around, catch up. You're not going to catch up to the Hornet at all, at all. So giving that a little bit of a celebration boost might be able to help that out. Like I said, it doesn't need to be the whole 28 G tricord BS that the Hornet has, but help it out. Cause I don't even remember how oh, it's a tricord. I think it only pulls like at most 20, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's not a lot. At least it doesn't feel like a lot in a straight line. Oh yeah. But if you're trying to tricord and whip around or whatever, it, it doesn't feel like it really moves all that much. So definitely an acceleration uh, buff would help out the saber for number two. So, so far we've talked about what we talked about giving it a little bit more health, give it a little bit more acceleration. And I think those two paired uh, together would really put the saber in a good spot, at least for a PVP standpoint. Um, well, there's a couple other things I wanted to talk about. And one was possibly capacitors, right? So if we don't touch the health, if we don't touch the acceleration, maybe give it a little bit of a boost to capacitors to really, especially when, like you said, when you're going head to head with the, with the Hornet and the Saber, you got more DPS coming out of the Hornet because you got more guns. So if we give the capacitors on the saber a little bit more of a boost so you boost so you can keep some more shots on her you might be able to even out some of the dps coming out of the saber versus the hornet um so at maximum weapons i believe the the saber has 28 shots per gun depending on gun I'm, right now i'm talking about panthers come stock with panthers panthers are great so i think they go power to weapons you go 28 shots per if you actually let me let me let me check an article i can check really fast yes 28 shots per with power to weapons on your uh, panthers if we crank that up to 38 38 shots be good to go because i believe the fucking saber uses two power plants if i'm not, if i'm if i am wrong let me let me look yeah it uses two power plants that could definitely hold use more uh use more capacitor so if we crank that up to 38 instead of 28 per, man, you can get some good DPS if you're able to apply it. Um, I'm not the most accurate person in the world. I'm not. I think we all know that. But having the ability to, at least the possibility of being able to apply more damage with the four guns you got, you'll be good to go, man. I think, I think that might help it out quite a bit. So we talked about health. We talked about maneuverability or an acceleration and weapon capacitors the other thing i wanted to talk about was the thing the saber was made for stealth it needs to actually be able to use its stealth the only ship right now that i can really think of that is able to use its stealth effectively is the eclipse the eclipse isn't made for dogfighting it's made for torpedo bombing. Basically sniping something from 10k out with a torpedo. That torpedo's in the air before somebody even knows that, that, that the Eclipse is there. Right? And the way you do it is, you know, you power down your weapons, you power down your shields, you come to a crawl, and you just kind of wait until your target's in range and you can get a good miss, uh, torpedo lock, right? You just crawl nothing like that you're not picked up on radar until you spike somebody and launch that torpedo but they're not going to be able to target you until you're close until about i don't know 32 to 35 meters out 30 or 3200 to 35 meters out so if this if the saber was actually able to utilize stealth different because i think as of right now is what stealth is it it kind of acts the same. Yeah, you can crawl in the saber. You you have a bigger cross section. I know that at least a little bit on the saber. Um, so you don't you're not going to get as much of a reduced range in the saber. But if they if they reworked on how stealth will work for different ships, since this is a stealth fighter, if we were able to just hide our signature, like we do in the in, in the eclipse, but we don't have to worry about going slow. 
and keeping our uh, our IR signature down, that might really give it an edge. Because somebody might not pick him up until, I don't know, like 3,200 meters. Because I'm still picked up at like four to 500 meters. 4,000 to 5,000 meters out, right? Which is close, don't get me wrong. But sometimes I'm, I'm even caught further out. So if we're able to rework the stealth a little bit for the saber, so you could still haul ass, ambush fight with that thing. Nobody can pick you up until you already have guns and weapons applied. That could be deadly. Just deadly, because you won't even know until you're already being fired upon. And that's the idea of stealth for me. You don't know an enemy is there until you're already being fired upon. And honestly, it needs to work that way with the saber as well. Get them close to the target before they even realize that you you either put guns on or missile lock them and you you're then you're fighting right i think if they did it some some kind of way that way the saber could be a, a saber could be scary depending on what ship the uh, the other person is in but yeah i just it's just it's just one of those things that i was literally just thinking about this in the car that's why there's not really like constructive arguments here it's just some ideas we're just thinking about this in the car while driving home today. Um, but I think if we improve some of these areas on the Saber, the Saber can be a force to be reckoned with in the right hands in a PvP environment. Because the Saber needs its love. It really, really, really does. Ever since it lost its third gen a shield generator, people kind of like, eh, the Saber, blah, easy target, right? And I can understand that. It's got low health. It's gotten a little bit more love recently when people have actually realized, oh yeah, the thing actually flies awesome in atmosphere, especially since the arrow and the gladius fly like shit in Atmo. But I want it to be more viable, you know, in a v in a medium fighter aspect. Medium fighters right now don't get a whole lot of love. We have what two, like two different kinds. We have the saber and the hornet, like true medium fighters. So. Honestly, it, it, it should, the Saber should get, be, yeah, go to the level of where the Sa or Hornet is, because if we only really have two true single seat medium fighters, they should be a little bit even. Because right now, the clear choice for everybody is to pick the Hornet. Because the Hornet's got a lot of DPS, a lot of acceleration, a lot of health. The only thing that's really lacking is its missile payload. And it's not made to be a stealth ship. Yeah, there's a stealth variant of it, but it's nothing like it's not made to be a stealth. It, that thing's a brawler. And I'm also not trying to say make the saber into a brawler. I just want the saber to be able to hold its own in a gunfight when it actually has to engage a target. That's all I'm saying. So, because like I said, if you put it in the right hands, it can be deadly. It can be. If we get some little buffs here, because the saber needs its love. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think the Saber needs for itself. If you have any different ideas, let me know. If you agree with me, let me know. If you disagree, let me know. Let's talk about it because we all know the Saber is my favorite fighter. I feel like I actually have a lot of people who watch the channel who love the Saber as well. So let's talk about it down in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. hope you guys found it informative. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video and around the verse. Alrighty, have a good one.